Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Assassin's Creed 3, playing a game of Deathmatch. This is only my second match back, actually, um, since probably sometime in December. Uh, I've kind of taken a couple months off, and I'm a little bit rusty. Uh, as you can see right there, she just walked... I don't know, she was obviously a player. She walked right towards me. And I remember thinking about using smoke bomb or knives and then thought, no, better not, just in case she's not after me. And that makes no sense because if you think someone's after you, just defend yourself. You know, why not? Uh, you'll end up dead like, like I just did. So a little rusty. You're going to see some stuff like that uh, throughout this match. A little bit of paranoia as well uh, seeps in as I try to figure out who's who. Okay, there's my contract. I'm going to take a roundabout approach, go around here. Fortunately for me, though, she's going to go just all in, high profile, which is awesome because it opens up this kill opportunity right there. He's not paying attention or whatever. He gets distracted. I can sneak in there and uh, get the kill. So, all right, pursuer, multiple pursuers. Can I get a contract? Thank you. And, you know, that seems to happen to me, too. Whenever I don't have... Um, a contract or a pursuer and I'm waiting for you know one or the other I always seem to get the pursuers first and I don't know if it's uh, designed that way or if I just have really 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 bad luck but uh, anyway speaking of luck look at this how's this for good luck boom baby look at that returns to the scene of the crime and he ends up a victim a second time I like it okay scanning for pursuers again now looking around and uh, fail how about that? She's standing right in that blend group. If you rewind the video, she's right in the blend group I walk by. Um, the dead giveaway is the fact that there's two of her there. So obviously one of them is a player. Um, I'm hearing whispers, and I scan, and then I, you know, like, should have stayed right there. Why turn around and look anywhere else? Just stay and watch what she does till I get to a safe distance away. But I don't know. Chose not to do that, so... Here I am again, no pursuer, no contract, waiting, and I think I'm going to pick up a pursuer. There we go. And then I wait for the the contract. Obviously growing increasingly paranoid as I'm wandering around. Okay. Whew. <laughs> All right. There we go. Pursuer. Gives herself away. I like it. And his contract. Guess what? He's pursuing the pursuer. Guns are down. Oh, man. This is fantastic. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure this guy knows I'm after him. Uh, right about here. He runs away. He's going to do this right around. Look at that. Whoop! Turns around. Like, okay, he's at, uh, he knows I'm after him. And apparently not. I don't know. I, you know, I, I wanted to use poison. I'm, like, I've been searching for a poison uh, uh, kill opportunity here. And I've had some opportunities. I have. Uh, I've just been too excited or nervous or whatever. And, okay, there's a poison right Oh, no. Pursuer. Panic smoke, get the poison kill anyway. Um, you'll notice, I'll have you notice, that was not an offensive smoke bomb. My target was already on the ground, and I poisoned him um, well ahead of any kind of focus bonus or whatever. But uh, that was just like panic smoke and, um, you know, getting paranoid, thinking I'm going to have to punch out my pursuer. Here's paranoia again, speaking of paranoia. Kill the Indian, because I think he's after me because of uh, what happened right away at the start of the game. So, no, oh, there we go. Perfect punch out. My, no. Okay. Big mistake there again, too. Still locked onto my target. So, uh, you know, obviously killed the target and just got killed by the pursuer. Not exactly how I wanted that to uh, turn out. That was kind of gift wrapped right there. It was a perfect stun, grounded kill combo right there. And uh, totally blew that. So. I'm looking for this guy again. Now, he's got to be getting paranoid. Look at that. Right here. He's got to be getting just so paranoid of me. I've been hunting him the whole match. Let's see here again. Boom. Baby. Smoke will not stop the beast. I'm telling you, but... Uh, I'm telling you, but Pocahontas with a knife will stop the beast. Uh, seriously, though. Like, I keep getting this guy as my contract. Like, all the time. Okay, here's a new contract. Perfect. Perfect. Now, can I kill someone other than Creepo that I've been killing earlier here? Nope. Okay. Fantastic. And again, no contract, no pursuer. Chill out and wait. Pick up a pursuer first, then wait for the contract. 
as you can see, trying to scan, you know, see what's going on, see some murder going on there. And hey, look at that, high profile contract. Why do people do that? Especially in deathmatch. Now, I understand, I have spoken about this in other videos, I understand, you know, running around and, and whatnot. It can save your life, but um, especially in deathmatch, why run? I mean, even even fast walking can give you away, so uh, why why bother, you know? I don't know. That's just my my two cents, kind of my strategy. I I tend to stay away from uh, high profile actions if I possibly can, like this, because yes, you will, sir, kill me. It's perfect, but you only get 150 points out of it, so you know. I don't know. Is that worth it? I don't. I don't think it's worth it. Obviously, he thought it was. I certainly don't think so. Okay, now there's pursuer. And look, he's still angling towards me in disguise. I'm pretty sure the whole line of sight thing gives me away. That's hence the reason for the knives. And uh, yes, I noticed the barmaid there sitting on these stools. I'm going to try to avoid her. Avoid oh, hey, look at that. Free gift to me. Thank you. And then, yep, okay, the barmaid's back. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Honestly, right there, I was seriously, as soon as I killed that target, my, you know, my target there... I was seriously going to be turning around and watching out for that barmaid and just did not have enough time. So um, another bit of advice, I guess, um, if you want to call it that, is you know, if you have the opportunity to go for a stun or for a kill and you can't do both, it's got to be either or, uh, get the kill. Generally, you'll tend to get more points um, if you get the kill. So Unless, of course, I suppose if you are uh, close to getting a... Uh, uh, you know, a kill streak or a, a stun streak. If you know, getting a stun will activate a silent kill streak or something for you. That might be more um, worth your time. But okay, right here, hearing whispers. Guess what? Boom, baby, sit down. Just a lucky guess. You know, I knew he was a player from earlier uh, when I stunned him uh, earlier there. And, and check this out. Let's just throw knives. They don't work. And then honorable death. Unbelievable. I was pretty pissed that those knives failed to uh, slow her down or something, but apparently not. Yeah, once you're jumping, you're totally immune to knives, so <sighs> whatever. Uh, but anyway, back to hunting for Creepo here again. Oh my goodness. It's like the fifth or sixth time I'm going after this guy here. And, and seriously, he's got to be just freaking paranoid. There he is right there. Look at that. I walk away all casual like and then come right back. Oh man, he's got to be just smashing his controller. <laughs> Jeez, I, I hate that. Sometimes you get people that are just after you all game or you're after somebody else all game long and it's just like, man. <laughs> Seriously, he's got to be he's got to be pretty pissed. Okay, now we're going to go hunt down Pocahontas here actually. I think my target is close, so I want to search for him. Where is he? He's right in here somewhere. There he is right there. Okay. Now fast walking to catch up with him right here. See, but not running. Fast walking. There we go. Now going to be scanning for pursuers. Do have multiple pursuers. Someone's close. He's acting suspiciously, perhaps. Not entirely sure, though. Maybe it's... it's No, Pocahontas. Lock, lock Pocahontas. Oh, crap. Smoke. Okay. Hey, buddy. Boom. Or maybe I shouldn't say buddy, I should say baby. Hey, baby. Boom. Yeah, that would've been better. Oh, look at that knockout punch. Guess what? Free kill. Gotta love free kills. Look at that. There we go. Oh, what? Leaves the game? Oh, what bullshit is that? You know, right there is a focus, grounded, incognito. <sighs> Looks like I still got the kill, though. The animation didn't go, but you saw the extra, like, 800 points right there. So, apparently... Still get the kill, so boom, yes, and that sucks there, but whatever. I'll take it. You only got 150 points, so whatever. Enjoy him. Okay, now searching for the doctor. Not a lot of time left. When I have disguise on right now, I like to save it for like the last 15 to 20 seconds of the match because um, you're gonna see here. I'm trying to be very careful. Okay, I lost my contract, so I'm just waiting for a contract. But I'm trying to be very careful to. Um, not a, not bring attention to myself because I'm basically immune. You know, I mean, if people are running around the last ten seconds, they're racing around corners trying to find their contract. 
You know, they're not going to get me if I'm disguised. I, I, I've never been killed when I've popped disguise like that. As long as someone hasn't seen me, obviously, do it. Never been killed, you know, when I've popped disguise. So definitely something to keep in mind if you have disguise on at the end of a match. But anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys very, very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, stay tuned for more. And until next time, have yourselves a nice day.